In recent years, there have been several devastating terrorist attacks around the world, including in the UK. In response to these attacks, the UK government has taken steps to strengthen its counter-terrorism measures and improve safety and security of public spaces. One of the most important of these measures is Martin's Law. Martin's Law is named after Martin Hett, one of the 22 people who were killed in the Manchester Arena bombing in May 2017. Martin was a popular social media personality who had a large following on Twitter and Instagram. He's also a huge fan of the pop singer Ariana Grande and had been at the Manchester Arena to attend the concert when the bomb went off. Following Martin's death, his mother, Fegan Murray, campaigned for better security measures at public events, such as concert halls, sports stadiums, and other places where a large number of people gather. Her efforts culminated in the introduction of Martin's Law, which has been designed to improve the safety of these spaces and prevent future terrorist attacks. So what exactly is Martin's Law? Essentially, it requires all public venues to put in place measures to mitigate the risks of terrorist attacks. This includes conducting thorough risk assessments, developing and implementing appropriate security measures, and training staff to respond to potential incidents. The law applies to a wide range of venues, including concert halls, sports stadiums, museums, galleries, and places of worship. It also covers smaller venues, such as community centers and local markets. One of the key requirements of Martin's Law is for venues to appoint a named individual who is responsible for security. This person is known as a protective security advisor and must have the necessary skills and training to carry out the role effectively. They will be responsible for conducting risk assessments, developing security plans and ensuring that staff are trained and prepared to respond to potential incidents. In addition, venues must also develop and implement a range of security measures, including physical security measures such as barriers and bollards and electronic security measures such as CCTV and access control systems. They must also have procedures in place for responding to potential incidents such as evacuation plans and emergency communication protocols. Overall, Martin's Law represents a significant step forward in improving safety and security of the public spaces in the UK. By requiring venues to take a more proactive approach to security, the law will help prevent future terrorist attacks and ensure members of the public can enjoy these spaces with confidence. It's important to note that Martin's Law is not yet in force, but the UK government has committed to introducing the legislation as soon as possible. Once it's in place, it will be a legal requirement for all public venues to comply with its provisions. In conclusion, Martin's Law is a powerful example of how tragedy can lead to a positive change. By turning her grief into action, Fegan Murray has successfully created a lasting legacy for her son and making the world a safer place for all of us.